Hey everyone, welcome back to my latest rally trapping video. Today we'll be showcasing six rallies taken by uh, Killer Vogel in his previous KVK. He is actually a Griffin rally trap, so it's just like a regular Griffin trap, but he's a rally trap, so he hides a bunch of troops, uh, gives them a fake scout, they'll go in for the rally to kill the rest of his troops, and right before the rally releases, he'll uh, call back all his troops. So he's got six marches out, uh, either on tiles or in uh, other people's castles, so he's going to hit this right as the coalition is coming in. Hopefully they don't carpet and hit him before that happens that's the only thing he's got to watch out for and obviously switches gear in time uh wife has quite good gear but unfortunately for him he doesn't have very good familiars so uh, we, we saw his gear at the beginning of the video but um you'll see his familiars here not great so he only did 233,000 damage um he is a, a range uh reinforced trap so the cav blast did not do very much uh hardly injured any tier four at all actually from him it was mostly just some little bit of tier two and a little bit of tier four so really easy take from that um so killer vogel will be taking another rally here this is going to be from a larger guild this is going to be from axr i believe uh, he's just checking his wall to make sure he has the right heroes on there uh this is going to be axr shawarma so axr shawarma is or x x a r shawarma is going to be going in for the rally here so uh he's quite good uh x a r had a lot of good rally leads um they actually rallied me twice uh, one of the guys had 800 percent and hit me so that will be another video i'll throw my stuff in there this is going to just be killer vogel's stuff today um he ended up getting i think 157 million points in this kvk i'll show you his points at the end but uh he did amazing on this so this can be the second rally he's gonna be taking again he's just waiting for the coalition to come and then he's just gonna hit that uh homeward bind he does have to wait to the they come back because they weren't filling like right away so it wasn't filled they're still marching towards him so uh he was waiting there and he there you go there the coalition's coming and someone's just telling him i, I or i think he might have been on his alt seeing as the last troop came into the guy this or waiting for that uh, uh, collision to go. So he basically hits the random there, throws on his monster gear, eats the rally really easily there. Only 379,000 damage there. So really good take by uh, what's called uh, Killer Vogel here. So he was able to cap. That was his second or third rally. <laughs> I think that was the second one. So this is the second rally caps during KVK. So that's two full rallies he's capped. Uh, two rallies that did really nothing. Um, that guy, again, did not have great familiars. This was not one of their better leaders um, he did go range into range, but yeah, only like 110,000 tier four injured. And that was, oh, that was Shawarma. So Shawarma was not the best rally lead. AXR had way better rally leads. Um, some really good, um, probably over 850 some of them, but uh, the one that hit me was 800%. I, I'll show you that in the next next video. So they are going to go in for the uh, rescue rally here. This rally lead is a little bit better. Um, this will be ABO uh meshel um again they had so many different people rallying um i had xr rally me t two different occasions like right after each other even though i capped them and i didn't have their leader but anyways that's uh that's that's another story but uh here comes the rally he's gonna be popping the 70 percent boost probably for this one just waiting for it to come in he does not have to hit the griffin this time because he already has his uh troops at home so uh it's gonna be really easy all he's got to do is throw in his war gear and they're going for the rescue rally so there's really really no chance of them actually canceling at this point because uh they're speeding up but he's already in his war gear rally's coming in right now not much uh drop there so he's going to quickly throw back on his ante hopefully before they get a scout but i think they might have got a scout of his actual scout uh, there you go. There's uh, ABO Meshel. So he is a better rally lead. There you go. Some Mythic Champ in there. A couple Mythic Cups. Um, I guess, yeah. So Beast Helm. Everything Mythic there. So really good uh, rally lead there. We'll take a look at the damage on this one. Yes, a little bit more damage. Was around 800,000 uh, damage. Again, uh, double tier 5 familiars. Infantry into his range. So full counter uh, and all that. But still only did uh, 800,000. So really good take on that one for sure. Uh, so this is going to be another one. This is going to be from, let's see, MNB is going to be the uh, uh, guild this time. It's going to be Jossley is going to be the rally lead. So yeah, again, he took uh, six rallies in this. So there's going to be lots and lots of rallies here. This is the fourth rally. I hope I'm getting this right. Yeah, this will be the fourth rally here. So uh, again, he is hiding all his troops. So he got rallied a ton because again, as a griffin trap you can hide basically all your tier four um so you basically just have tier four tier two in your castle and they just like oh that's an easy rally uh, if they don't want to solo you um <laughs> uh, you got to make sure you keep enough troops in your castle that they can't solo you it kind of ruins the whole thing if they can solo you but um yeah so as long as you have enough troops where they can't solo you and they need to rally then as soon as the coalition's about the basically release that's when you hit the griffin so and hopefully they don't carpet because they can carpet you faster than your griffin gets back as if as long as they 
they uh, uh, basically speed it up more than the six seconds it takes because Griffin takes six seconds for your troops to come back no matter where your troops are on the map. So they can be next to you, it takes six seconds or all the way across the map, it'll take six seconds. But um, yeah, so as, as long as the coalition isn't going to hit you before those six seconds, it's fine. Um, you can see he's pulling back, throwing on his mix gear right away there. The coalition is coming in. He's going to switch back to his uh, other gear just to make it look like he's not online, but I mean, if people are watching, they'll, they'll see it because you, you're in war gear for a couple seconds. But yes, he was able, able, able to cap that one too. He's going to throw in his anti before they get a scout on him. Uh, but yeah, sometimes this will uh, basically make them go for a second, uh, what's called fall up rally, which happened in the previous clip there. So we'll take a look at this one, see how he did. Um, 622,000, zero reds on that one. No tier five familiars from the rally lead. So, uh, but it was tier four, tier five uh, infantry into his range. Again, um, if you are a range trap always staying arraigned um yeah so he has decent gear too the guy but uh, just the familiar yeah he's just missing those tier five familiars to be a good rally lead so uh we're going to come in with another rally here this is going to be from let's see who's rallying him this time uh this is going to be uh I slash G. I slash G will be the uh, guild that's going to be rallying him this time. Uh, this is kind of the fail clip, actually, of the day. So he is going to get the, the Griffin back. Don't worry. He's not going to take a rally without his troops. But I think he does miss his uh, switch on this one. So we'll take a look at that and see if he actually does miss his switch or not. I've looked at it a couple times. I'm not 100% sure because they both kind of happen at the same time. So depending on the delay on the uh, what's called server-wise, he might have not got his... Uh, it's called uh, switch on in time. So we'll see because he actually hits the fake him here um, and then goes back in and tries to hit the mix. But I think the coalition had already hit him. So I'm not 100% sure if that hit him or not. Uh, that was his cab blast there. Uh, that was from uh, Skylab. He did get 600,000 troops back. So that's kind of telling me he didn't get a switch off. Uh, again, he was in range, so not too much reds or anything like that. This will be the second uh, follow-up rally. Um, they're going to go in for a second one because they didn't. He didn't do too well on the first one, so this one he will get his war gear on in time. Um, I think they pretty saw that, and then he's going to basically port away. Uh, they know he's in range, so they went infantry this time, but he was able to actually cap him this time. So uh, great uh, job by uh, Vogel there. We'll take a look at this. That's the guy's infantry gear. He does have three cups, not one myth, or one is not mythic, and his champ is not completely mythic, but. Still still gold uh does have double tier five familiars again he did but 900 yeah so he did quite a bit more damage with the infantry but yeah here you go uh so vogel did get 157 million points so he was the top player in our kingdom um yeah here it is in his actual thing so 157 million points so really good job by vogel for all this um really got a bunch of points for the guild so um anyway so yeah he did pretty well i think he just missed the switch on that one so he was able to cap five of the six rallies um only lost a little bit of troops on that last one just because again really good uh rally lead with uh full counter so it kind of it does hurt sometimes and mostly just to hear five familiar so thank god for the uh, sanctuary because it really really saves our butts in those uh situations where uh we end up taking a full counter and end up losing troops and someone does tier five familiar is almost guaranteed to get reds because um it's gonna hit your back line and it's gonna basically fill your infirmaries most times like it'll do six hundred thousand usually and that's usually how many infirmaries you have so whatever they do in the front line is gonna be reds so um same thing with me i took a couple double tier five familiar blasts from some full mythic guys did quite a bit of damage but um again you only end up losing like 40k troops in the end because you get from the sanctuary so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this rally trap video i will have some more videos coming out this week um i think i have one of my solo trapping clips coming out tomorrow i will have, have like a rally where we're actually rallying people video and let's see top five traps leak will come out later in the week so if you guys have any more clips for that uh, please send it to me i hope you guys enjoy this one and i'll see you guys in the next one